Hello everyone and welcome back to the Battlecast. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a little Watcher of the Realms stuff. Now, if you don't know, this is a gotcha game. It's a mobile game. It's reminiscent of Raid Shadow Legends. I'm really enjoying it. And today I'm actually going to be showing you a little bit of a, a cool strategy for the guild boss. Uh, it's almost like a cheese strategy and it just allows you to punch well above your weight. Um, you do need two specific champions. But I think this kind of gameplay example showcases why this game is so cool. Because the littlest differences allow you to progress. So this is on my phone. It's super rugged. My computer is getting upgraded, so whatever. So let me show you the people you need. Firstly, you need uh, this chick here. Gosh, let me move my thingy. Uh, Volka. She's a free champion if you can progress through the story missions enough. But the reason that she's cool is because she has this passive here. It's called... Here she is here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So her Awakened One, which you actually get by completing all the Tide missions, you just straight up get this, reduces the revival times of all heroes by 25%. This is kind of interesting. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, and then you also want to have this homie here. Um, he is a... Regulus, he's a tank. He's not particularly special, but he does have a cool ability, which firstly his passive says when he's smashed, uh, he goes immune, which is great. Uh, so he goes invincible for 10 seconds. But then he also has this ability here where he puts out a shield and protects people taking the damage. Maybe you can see where this is going here. So I'm going to show you how to do this in clan boss. It's very interesting. Now me, in Guild Boss, I actually, in Nightmare 3, I can't get through the third shield. And I think that's where probably a lot of people are struggling. And so I'm going to show you a cool strategy to kind of like gimmick your way through it. Okay. So the first thing is definitely take somebody who's strong. You know, if you can't get through the third shield, you need an assist unit anyway. You're going to want to have Regulus. You're going to want to have a healer. I actually found Vortex can do this, um, but I'm actually going to be doing it uh, with my tree lady because she's dope. And let's just start this off. And it's <laughs> it's fairly specific, but that's why I like it so much. So here we go. So I think I'm going to slow it down just to make sure we get everything sorted. Okay, so the tree lady is going to go here. I'm going to get my best DPS out, Calypso. Now, Calypso actually needs to be in this spot. Your best DPS needs to be right where I'm putting her right now. It's very important. Um, then I'm going to go this guy, my Valkyrie. We're going to go Salazar, and you'll see why Salazar is here in a second. Uh, Lunaria. Uh, what the hell is her name? And my Nocturne is really interesting. You'll notice I put Salazar here, and you'll notice that he is not in the heal range of my healer. And that's because you can do something cool with him. I'll show you what it is. Now, in this particular strategy, oh my god, one second, my dogs are coming up. Right, so in this particular strategy, I actually just use their abilities immediately. Because I can get through these first two shields of the dragon, no problem. Now what's cool with Salazar, and he is not in heal range, but you'll notice this ability here, the Infernal Roar is about to trigger. And if you time his ultimate correctly, he actually can jump. He becomes like untargetable uh, during this Infernal Roar. So check this out, he disappears, he avoids all the damage, which is really nice. So I don't even own Salazar, I'm actually borrowing him from somebody. So I'm not worried about the first two shields, they're easy to get through, the third one is like, way, way harder about, uh, way, way harder to get through. So we'll just pound through this guy. Uh, let me, oops, speed it up a little bit. Because again, I'm not super worried. Um, and again, just using ultimates totally as they come up. Um, Salazar's, I yeah, actually, no, I've got the, the healing or whatever to do it. So I don't know if you can hear me tapping on the screen again. This is like a <laughs> budget as hell video, but Okay, Nocturne's got his back up. Let's roll. Um, yeah, we'll do some healing. Uh, what's also nice about this particular is the tree's alt actually hits him, even though he's not within uh, shield range, which is really nifty. 
I think he's going to do one more Infernal Roar, so maybe we'll uh, save Salazar's ultimate just to slap around. Uh, oh, no. Okay, no. He didn't do another. We're not within time anyway. We have Jangwa going. Okay, now this is where shit gets crazy coming up here. So the second Infernal Roar is where it's all going to go down, where the strategy all is going to happen. Again, I'm alting like crazy. We're making it happen. Okay, this is the first Infernal Roar. Um, I'm going to save Salazar's ultimate. This is important. I'm going to save the tree's ultimate. This is important. Okay, so check this out. That's the first meteor. So on this Infernal Roar, on the top of, okay, here we go. I'm, I'm letting it play slow. I'm going to kill my Wraith here, or whomever you put in, and I'm going to sub in Regulus, okay? We're going to sub them in. So let's just, um, you, have, you know, you want to have the timing fairly close, so bear with me as this thing just like plods along here, but I don't know. You also want to um, dodge this with uh, Salazar if you can. I think so. Yeah, let's get him dodging. Here it is, it hits. I kill him, I pop in Regulus, okay? We're blowing out, we're using all of our abilities, all of our ultimates, no big deal, okay? He's coming in for the Meteor Impact. We're still doing damage, okay? I'm just gonna pause right now. When the shield goes up, you don't do damage towards his life total, okay? And that's actually important, you're gonna see why here. So once his shield goes up, okay, I start killing everybody get them dead okay and i only keep alive the people who are around my boy regulus because we aren't getting through this shield it's simply not possible but regulus has his alt okay it's about to smash us so we pop regulus's alt we pop my heel I don't know if I'm going to get Salazar's up back. Oh no, I should have held it. Fool. We'll see. He might live because the shield's absorbing. I'm not going to get it. Boom! This guy murders us, but we live, okay? So now we slap out these guys. They're total trash garbage. We don't give a shit about them. Um, but look at our timers down here. Okay, they're coming back up. Okay, let's slow it down. I've got one deployable, okay? Um, so I'm actually... And we're thinking about the healing range here. We don't need Regulus anymore. Let's get him out of here. Wrath is back. Slap Wrath back in. Excellent. Okay. 10 seconds on our homies. So we're going to start killing off these useless fools here. Okay. <laughs> here they come. Come on back, baby. Maybe I killed them a little soon. You can see. You can optimize this stuff if you want. Okay. Jangwa's coming in. Nocturne's coming back. Love it. Get the heal going. Valkyrie alt. Oh, it's like, and basically now you're just like, just like get that extra damage in because you wouldn't have had this opportunity because everyone would have been dead. So again, we're just, we're doing the best we can. Here comes an infernal roar. We can maybe dodge this with Salazar. Yeah, we can do a little dodge Rooney. My Nocturne's got his alt up. 24 seconds we have now. And Calypso, you'll notice, the one DPS who was able to be adjacent to Regulus lived throughout the whole thing, and she's my top damage. So we're going to go. We're going to slap. You can see as we're getting close, I'm actually not going to let this fight register because I, I just figured this out, but I am going to pause it. So there you go, 3454, because we were able to get through and kind of cheese through that extra shield. And if you do that twice on Nightmare 3, that's a full clan chest for you, which is awesome. And this strategy applies to any clan boss difficulty. Um, again, you should use uh, Valda, which means you probably aren't having trouble, but I think it's very cool. But you can also notice how, like, mm, if you critical think this game and you just, like, play it smart, you can actually get some really cool strategies. So this is how you cheese through Nightmare 3, possibly Nightmare 4, who knows, if you have Regulus and Valda. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I consider, I don't know, maybe I'll do more. Maybe I'll, whatever. But uh, I like this game, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Yep.